Today is Sunday the 27th. Sunday is Monday here, which is the most mind-blowing thing to, to me. So Marco and I, Marco is co-owner of the gym that I've been showing you for all these, this past week or so. Where are we going right now? Uh, we're going to Cafe Rada. I sh was supposed to go with him first, but I accidentally went with somebody else the other day. In my opinion, we're going to one of the best cafes this place has. These key meetings or days where we can uh, really get a lot done, cover a lot of ground, see what we come up with to make sure that by the time everybody gets here, we're spot on. Look at that. Did they purposely strategically place it so the sun just beams it out like that? No, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, it was Dubai's a special design and designed it so that the sun strikes it in each glass pane at a different angle every day. Genius. So obviously, you understand the values of me, you understand what you stand for, and I think that aligns a lot with what you want to do. It's like, how much can you ask him to? I don't know, he's a good one. Right, so it's like I said, with those people, it's like, these people represent the best of you. They do everything. Same community, excellence, community, so far. Training is going to actually very, very interesting. Right now, my training is more or less just about trying to find answers. I like to balance just as much work, just as much training as I do enjoying a place. If I find that I'm going out to eat too much, if I find that I'm just vacationing too much, not training enough, it makes me miserable. Training internationally to me is actually easier because it makes me want to go and enjoy things more if I'm in the gym. Being out of the gym is actually the thing that, in a sense, kind of ruins it for me because four days out of the gym, three days out of the gym, eating terribly, I actually feel regret. I'm like, I don't want to be here, I'm ready to go home. I set out to spend 2019 learning the basics, fundamentals of weightlifting, uh, continuing making progress on my weak points in bodybuilding um, and slowly rebuilding strength back in powerlifting. How is that going now? Really not that well. The only reason I would say not that well is because I want what I want specifically how I want it. I'm a human and I have to take what's real versus what I vision and when I have a vision of something I always of course overshoot exactly what it is. Bodybuilding has been the thing that's been most consistent. I did a bodybuilding show last year in 2018 and bodybuilding for me is probably the training that I enjoy the most. How I've been doing this since I've been on the road and everywhere, it's actually quite s simple. Um, you just show up, there's no real secret. People th think you know it's hard training internationally and stuff like that. Um, it really consists of two things. It's one, going out of your way, not really vacationing how you think you'd want to vacation. And two, uh, sometimes spending money when you don't want to, sometimes buying a monthly membership to a place, sometimes buying the day passes, um, sometimes not being able to go and have all those experiences in a place. Uh, but for me, I feel that I want to meet my type of people no matter where I am in the world. Uh, so no matter where I go in the world, I generally meet fit people, people in a gym, powerlifters, people who are about barbell sports or bodybuilding. So it kind of works out in that way. Um, so I boil it down to what I call dominant factors. Dominant factors meaning like, what are the most essential exercises I need for each piece that I'm putting together? At least two times a week frequency on my lowest body parts. So my delts, arms, and chest, those get hit twice a week. Everything else gets hit once a week in the bodybuilding style. Bodybuilding is one of those things that takes the most patience in the formula, so I don't over I don't look at it too closely. I just kind of let it do its thing and, and brew and, and manifest as it needs to. Powerlifting has been interesting. Powerlifting, uh, I'm finally, finally stabilizing my weight out at around 198 pounds. And it took me a, really up until this point after the contest prep to get my weight stable. So now that my weight is stable, my food intake is stable, my energy is stable, I can really now start finding my technique again in my form again. So it's taken me a good amount of time since prep, since about three months, the first three months for my powerlifting were really about finding the groove of how the lifts feel again. So what I'm doing now is I'm crossing over a lot of the bodybuilding lifts and powerlifting compounds uh, to higher rep schemes. So I'm not really doing a lot of heavy power lifts, I'm just doing the power lifts, the squat, bench, and deadlift, and I'm doing it with higher reps so I'm doing a variation, like a floor press maybe, or a close grip bench. Something that kind of helps me see it along the way. Uh, so these first three months have been about really stabilizing my body weight back, getting that foundation back to which I can train and not be injured. Um, in the next three months I really do hope it will be about getting my groove back, finding form, 
uh, feeling back to some sort of good strength, and then after that, finally be able to program it forward. Weightlifting itself is the thing that matters the least to me, but is also the most interesting. Right now, I'm dealing with some mild elbow tendonitis. Um, the issue is essentially in my grip. I grip uh, too hard. I grip like a bodybuilder. When I grip, I try to yank the whole thing up. So I've been using wrist wraps lately, and the wrist wraps have been of substantial help. Um, weightlifting, I started at Waxman's gym. I started probably three weeks after my bodybuilding show in October. Um, and I'm just not good. I'm not good yet, but that's the point. I don't think I'll ever be a professional at this. I don't plan to ever take it to the highest level. But I love a barbell, and barbell sporting is something that I ultimately do want to see to the end. It's humbling. In one area of my life, I have total mastery with bodybuilding in terms of how to move and how I don't really have to think. I can just fall into it, and it's like something I've been doing forever. It feels natural. Versus weightlifting, I grab that same exact barbell, and it just feels like I've never lifted weights in my life. So I'm really enjoying the spectrum, right, of something that I'm mindlessly enjoying. Uh, some form of mastery. Powerlifting, I'm going towards a direction that I want to go. Um, and I'm somewhere in a mini area right now. Um, then weightlifting, this total beginner. So I think that balance is really the thing that's keeping me, uh, keeping my mind right. All in all, my training is not all that complex. Um, it's very hard to program sometimes and it's very hard to predict, but uh, the months in the road are minor and I really do enjoy it thus far. So uh, it really helps to be at a facility like this a desert barbell where I can do everything all in one location. So that's about it for today. Just a small training update. Anyone else on this quest of doing those three barbell sports, I'm uh, very interested in seeing how you're tackling it. Look at my